Hello folks, Kevin here again. Today I am very close to my home city of Turku in an area called Hauniston Allas. It's a it's an artificial lake that was dug out in the 1970s and uh, it's only about 10 minutes drive away from home. The plan is to do a little bit of hiking and then set up a hammock. So here is a generalized map of the area itself. I left my car here and here is the actual reservoir itself. There is a 18 hole frisbee golf course at the bottom and then there is a path that runs the entire route around the actual lake itself. You can swim in it but it says women and omala vastula that means that you swim at your own risk. So my plan today is to head to point number three and to see if I can get out onto this island. Um, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Failing that, I will continue on and either go here or continue all the way around to this Niemi and try and set up there. The motorway is approximately a kilometer and a half, two kilometers away, and I can hear the traffic in the distance, although it is currently uh, rush hour, so I expect it to be loud. Uh, it remains to be seen, though, uh, later on in the evening, just how much of that noise will carry to this uh, nature protected area. There are facilities laid on by the city so for example in this building here is wood for the fireplace and there is a toilet here free to use it's a dry toilet more than likely and then on the other side of the path uh, is a place where you can come and grill food. Seeing as this location is so close to the cities of Turku and the neighboring city of Raisio. It is to be expected, especially with the weather that we've been having, which has been very warm and sunny, that the place would be very full, especially during the weekend. Uh, so I'm hoping that by coming here on a Tuesday night in the middle of the work week, uh, that the place will be relatively peaceful. And pretty nicely set up for the night. I'm actually planning to uh, sell this gear uh, fairly soon and uh, the proceeds go to getting a Amok Drummer 5.0 ultralight, uh, one of those weird hammocks that are 90 degrees to a normal hammock. So um, yeah they're fairly expensive so uh, hopefully I can uh, get some money for this, uh, although I don't expect too much because yeah, this has been put through some use. We'll see how it goes. Sadly, because this isn't a national park, and therefore not maintained quite as well uh, plus the fact that it's so close to the bigger cities uh, unfortunately there's quite a lot of rubbish and uh, yeah I managed to find some cans and bottles and uh, fishing line which is a scourge to wildlife uh, right beside where my camp is so uh, I'll be packing these up at least and taking them away with me tomorrow morning yeah always sad to see when people just leave rubbish like this so I just did a couple of uh, corrections to my tarp setup. I have changed it into this sort of uh, inverted boat shape. The wind was blowing basically straight in under the tarp and uh, although rain isn't forecast uh, there was a danger of getting some water in and I didn't fancy it so I changed it. It seems I'm quite close to the airport that planes are going over on a fairly regular basis. There was at least one Norwegian Air that flew in and then flew out again. So hopefully there won't be too much in the way of traffic tonight. It's not super loud, but uh, it will probably more than likely wake me up even with earplugs in. 
by comparison the uh, traffic noise from the motorway which is about a kilometer a half two kilometers that way um, isn't actually that bad it's relatively quiet so I have a new addition to my cook set which made it much much lighter and that is the 100 gram gas canister up until now I've been using 230 gram canisters which fit into some of my pots so they're like the larger fire ma maple pots and now I have the fire maple petrol 2 I think it is the zone with the slits in the bottom which allows the stove to sit more flush uh, with the, the bottom of the pot and also then it affords more wind protection the 230 gram doesn't fit in the pot whereas the 100 gram does so um, yeah I'm looking forward to see though if the smaller size is going to basically make the pot a little bit more top heavy I just have to be a bit more careful with the uh, how and where I set it up Didn't sleep terribly well in the hammock last night. I had to do get up uh, several times and do some adjusting to both the hammock itself because I felt that the, the amount of sag in the hammock was uh, a little bit too much. So my feet were very high. And then I also adjusted the foot end to be make it a little bit lower so I could get a flatter lay. For some strange reason in this hammock, it's very difficult to comfortably sleep on your side. Your feet are either like bent upwards or else they're on the actual they're on the ridge the only real way to sleep is sort of half on your back half on your side otherwise shoulder squeeze is a problem at least for me it's also partly one of the reasons why i'm very interested in this amok drummer uh, because of its claim at least to be flat lay so here is the bug net in fact it looks more like a fishing net than a bug net the mesh size is kind of on the large size i think it would probably be fine for mosquitoes but i think midges would probably get through so that there's a downside then again it was very cheap i think i picked this up for 10 euros so uh, i can't complain too much it's basically a pyramid shape with a square base and on each corner of the square it has these loops and rings and these of course you can just use pegs to pin into the ground and uh, I also don't have a ground sheet but uh, a friend of mine recommended me to use a first aid emergency blanket this can double very nicely as a ground sheet you can also use it of course in an emergency to actually keep help keep you warm and uh, unlike mylar blankets these these sheets are actually tough and in principle a full-size one this one has been cut down to size I use it primarily more for uh, spare mat underneath the hammock but a full-size one in principle can you can pick somebody up and actually use the blanket as a stretcher it's that strong so this is the top of the pyramid and what i'm going to do is try and change the shape so that the actual bug net matches the a-frame shape which means i'll have to put the bug net over the ridge line and under the tarp in at least two places to try and get that let's see how it goes okay well it didn't really make much difference it might have given a little bit more space but by uh, extending the sides out it made the mesh a bit saggier in places what is interesting also is, is that the actual mesh itself has like a skirt underneath so that it where it touches the ground there is also a small flap or flange that lets it run along the ground and should also help to prevent bugs from coming in underneath the actual net i think i might have to practice with this even though it seems quite a simple and should be an effective method against uh, mosquitoes of course to get in and out then i would have to lift the pegs 
on uh, one corner on the front, get underneath and then secure the peg again. That's how it is to get in and out of the bug net. So basically I would lift one corner of the net and get inside. And then pin out the mosquito net one, once more. Um, I can lie full length in here. Um, as long as I don't move too much to one side or the other, I should have enough space. It would be nice to be able to widen it out more to get even more space inside. So it's pretty much just for one person. Yeah, the top of my head is basically against the back of the netting right now. It would do in a pinch, but it's maybe not the best solution, even though it's probably one of the lightest solutions. One thing came to mind was that this might be an easier system to set up with the bug net first and then put the tarp over the top. So then you have the ridge line is your reference for both the net and the, the tarp itself. Yeah, second thing is, is that this mesh uh, tends to collect debris like pine needles and stuff like that quite easily. Yeah, you have to clean it every time that you use it. And so even though it's very light and cheap, it would be easier if the parts that are actually touching the floor was just solid cloth uh, rather than actually netting because it does actually catch stuff. So that's it, all packed up. Leave no trace and I'll take that rubbish with me as well. Yes, I hope you enjoyed my little adventure here at Honiston Res Reservoir. If you like this video, please consider having a look at my channel and uh, yeah, you might find some other videos that you like. So for now, this is Kevin signing off. All the best. Moi moi.